Yes, sir. My name is Kelly W. Patterson. And uh, personally, I haven't seen any evidence that there's a shortage of cops. Um, they had enough cops to conduct a two-month investigation of some people riding on, side, on sidewalks with chalk. Um, they have enough cops that they can shut down Fremont Street every first Friday and set up what looks like an East German checkpoint to make sure that somebody doesn't carry a beer from one bar to the next. They have enough cops to have undercover cops going up and down uh, the strip to make sure that somebody isn't selling water because they're competing with casinos, because the casinos sell the water for more money. This isn't a matter of them not having enough money. It's a matter of priorities. They found enough money to take some second-rate guitar player that hardly anybody ever heard of out for a helicopter ride because he wanted to, um, imp he wanted to propose to his girlfriend. They found the money to build that giant headquarters in the middle of the worst recession in history. The, uh, the elephant is in the room. It's always in the room because there's no no evidence of it whatsoever. In fact, there is no, there's evidence that has never happened is accountability. There's no accountability whatsoever with Metro or with any Las Vegas Police Department. They, they're paying cops to sit home on vacation after they murder somebody. Jesus Arvalo has been home for almost two years now after he murdered Stanley Gibson. There's nothing, absolutely nothing whatsoever that should that should justify shooting somebody. And yet, in the history, in the 40-year history of Metro, not one single cop has ever been brought up on charges for shooting somebody, even if that person's been unarmed and completely innocent. The entire 40-year history of Metro, not one single person. The fact that it was, it was called unprecedented when the Use of Force Board recommended that somebody be fired for shooting somebody because they thought his hat was a gun is disgraceful. The fact that Sheriff Gillespie over here refused that recommendation is beyond disrespectful. It's an insult to this community. There's, there's, they're paying out millions of dollars to people who have been either murdered or brutalized by the police. And I'm, I see people within my own community where the police are stopping them because they don't have a, a bell on their bicycle or their headlight on their bicycle isn't bright enough because they're looking for any excuse they can to stop people in certain neighborhoods. We've got all these police running around just harassing people, and yet we're told we need more police. There's certain neighborhoods here where they take these saturation teams and they go through, and it's actually part of the stated purpose of these saturation teams that they are going to stop anybody they can for any reason. I've got to ask you to wrap it up, Mr. Peterson. Okay. Well, they need to, instead of coming here and asking us for more money to, to uh, offset their budget that they're wasting, they need to learn how to actually have a budget Thank and you. how to actually prioritize what they're doing instead of being out there harassing everybody and then saying, hey, give us more Thank of your money so we can harass you, you more. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Yes, sir. Motion fails. Shiny badges don't grant extra rights.